Alright, let's try that again then, shall we? This is only on veteran. This is the embarrassing thing. I don't think you can really blame me, though. Considering the number of shots I've been missing... It's not that I'm taking bad shots. It's that my people are bad shots. We're in. Because in that first mission, I missed five shots that were 70 or higher. Five! Oh, sorry, Smith the man. I, I just missed that. Now that we've got a foothold, it's time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take. If you're not one of these guys, target. I'll change it. Something that will get people's attention. Neutralize any security forces in the area. Keep your heads down. Alright, so who's the team this time? Menace one five. We have We've a fix got. on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Our position is masked. In the team we have got Arachnos, Spectre HDMC, Hubbum, Gia <laughs> Smitherman. So yeah, you're already in. Uh Donbassos. That's it. Alright, so I think kind of similar to last time we want to get upstairs, just because it is so much easier to hit stuff from up there. In fact, possibly even better on this building. Though this has a better overwatch position over that, but it's further away. It does go over to here, though. Let's move Stepping you to off. this. See what we can see. Hopefully we can actually hit stuff this time. That would be nice. I know it's a rather... different way of doing things, actually hitting the stuff we want to hit. Roger that. But it would be nice. I'm all over it. Trooper, Gunslinger, and Metrone. So it's the same as last time. Unfortunately, they are quite a bit further away, so I don't know that we're going to get... Yeah, we have no preview shots already. Um, On my way. I'm kind of hoping they come a bit closer. Overwatch. That's affirmative. Scanning. Could hit them. Affirmative. Next turn. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Are there any other firing positions from up here? I don't think so. Oh no, there is one there. And one there. Mm. No, and that would smash a, a window to get in. You could, however, get it to the cover. Confirmed. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. It's not moving towards me. Actually, they're going to be kind of hidden behind that. 
Yeah, half of you just don't have a shot. Actually, none of you do. Um, hmm. I don't think I can make use of the upstairs area, except maybe over here now. Start pushing forwards. The best firing position is up close with the sword. Mets <laughs> one five. You're near the target position. Right, how do I get up to over here? Yeah, that's not optimal. Although that's actually in cover. On the move. Then maybe we can stack up on the uh, upstairs over here. So long as I don't reveal more bad guys, of course. Moving out. Which is entirely possible. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Uh, Affirmative. Here. Okay, now they're more out in the open too. Oh yeah, much. Nope, stop. Stop. Spotted if we go up there. Oof. They are not making this easy for me. Actually, we can all see them from here. Where's the best shot? Seventy two is not terrible. Three is even better. Oh, you couldn't see them. Oh, yes, you could. Alright, so I think you're going to take the shot. So everyone else. Scanning. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. Covering now. On Overwatch. Alright. Take him down. X ray neutralized. They spotted us. to be. Alright. That was better than we've done before. <laughs> that was quite a lot better than we've done before. But there are still some bad guys left. I'm going to assume that they're probably back here. Like last time, the, the first group we, we dealt with, like anything that I'm doing from the jump usually happens pretty well. It was everything that came afterwards that was just complete terribleness. Um, Whatever you say! Got it covered! I'm just gonna slowly advance. I should actually pull the, the front guys forwards. Rather than vice versa. Move, move, move! There they are. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or. I haven't played Darkest Dungeon, players. no, and I really ought to. It's on my list of things I want to do. That's nice. 50 50 chance of hitting as well. I'll take that. Alright. No real way of flanking them from here, unfortunately. No problem, boss. But we can stay in heavy cover. 
Bye then. That's two 50% hits that we've got there. I'm using up all of my luck. This isn't a good thing. He's there, he's there. So, less likely that they'll come around this way, though still possible. I think that's better. Rolling out! Guy on the right's on Overwatch. Alright, so we missed a 50. Missed the target. That's fine. And they missed the 42. This seems a lot more fair. No more of this ridiculous hitting 15% chances or anything like that. Throwing grenade! So if you grenade them, you also knock them out of Overwatch. And you remove that cover. On your order. All right, let's move you over here. Hopefully, you can take that guy out. Come on. Thank you. Hostile terminated. Here we get a flanking position. Glorious. Alright. Hostile terminated. So bad. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the devil. Let's grab the loots. We've got stock. Got your stuff here. Go, go, there. go! Whatever you do, do not put Ben in the field. Magnus luck is nothing compared to Mordred luck. Move, move, move! I don't think even Ben would have missed the amount of stuff that I missed the first time I played this mission. Uh, today. On your I'm not order. kidding when I said I, like, I had ten shots maybe in the entire battle. Five of them were 70 pluses and I missed them all. And then they hit an 18% in heavy cover, killing a guy. It was, Scanning. it was disgusting. On Overwatch. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Status confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Phoenix Point as well. I think that's going to play more like what I want it. Bonus reward. An old man approaches slowly up to the fight. I thought, years ago, back during the original invasion, I like what I just saw. So here's something I packed up back in the day. And he gives you 18 alien alloys. Nice. And we also get two bonus ability points. Cool. So you do get uh, bonuses if you get flawless missions like that one. That went rather better. Rather, rather better. Hey, it's Atelier. Thanks for the host as well. Appreciate that. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. One hundred percent shot rating. We're never seeing that again, ever. Good work out there, Commander. The aliens must be getting nervous by now. <laughs> by now, it's the first mission. <laughs> Alright, Smitherman, you have become a scoot. So you have the hollow target. Rapid targeting, low profile, high def hollow profile. Beat down. Oh, it's a stun. Close combat stun. 
Oh, I can only be used against unarmored though. Independent tracking, lone wolf, vital point. So, see, the uh, scout that we had last time, Fiddlers, had the entrench. This one doesn't. So there are always a set number of skills that they can have. They're mixed up and um, from a like a larger pool. Then Arachnos is a saboteur. Saboteur is a master of blowing things up in the traditional way with explosives. For everything else, he can use his arc throw to disable the target temporarily. All right, so you blow things up and you stun them. Extra primary weapon deal 50% more damage to any inhabitant objects, such as relays and gas tanks. EM disruptor. Fire the arc throw at a mechanical target. Do we actually... Okay, so we are always carrying this thing. That's good, because I hated having to purposefully equip a character with the uh, arc launcher. That's good. All right, area demolition. Shotgun proficiency gives a large bonus to crit when using the shotgun, but decreases the same stat when not using one, so you should always use a shotgun. Ooh. The demo guy who can heal. Interesting. Wait, torture? Use your arc throw to inflict damage in a very painful way. Causes panic and damage to a single living target. And then we can heal them to do it again. Don Bassos is the specialist operating some of our most advanced equipment specialists deploy robotic drones in the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. So you can hack and you can do aid protocol. You do have field medic, combat protocol, scanning protocol, rifle proficiency. Interesting, interesting. Revival protocol. Flash round. Shot that doesn't do any damage but disorients them. Has plus 25 aim. Precision shot, threat assessment, aid protocol now gives a target covering fire overwatch shot. The really successful overwatch has a 50% chance that another shot will be taken. Steady hands, but did not move, aim and crit. Nowhere to strike to cause the most damage, 15% chance to hit and two armor pierce on all attacks. Oh wow, that's good. Send the gremlin to a location where it can emit a substantial electric discharge, just damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robot units take more damage, that's kind of cool. And then Spectre is the Ranger. That actually makes a lot of sense. Shadow Step does not trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. That's really helpful, especially for you. But then again, Blade Master is also really good. Well, apparently we can use the uh, training center to, like, train more abilities, I think. Phantom. Phantom plus Shadow Step. Actually, Shadow Step matters less, so we can do Phantom and Blade Master. Shotgun proficiency, but that would mean we do less damage with the sword, so I don't like that. Run and gun's always amazing. Gain 25 dodge against attacks from within four tiles. That plus sword would be very helpful. Because if we miss or don't kill with the sword, then we have that plus 25 dodge. Implacable. Score more on one. One or more kills on the turn, you're granted a single bonus move. Okay. Precision shot. Rapid fire and sidearm specialist. And again, there are a whole bunch of skills that we haven't revealed and we don't reveal until we level up. So there's there's additional things that we can do. And then Hubbum, what are you? Smitherman, you are a scout. You're a scout. Then Hubbum is an agent. Agents can be used as stealthy snipers, but are best at assassinating enemies at close range with a shotgun. That's not very stealthy. The combat knife provides utility and mobility, so they can run and slice. Move and slice a target uses one action, doesn't end the turn, but can only be used once per turn. There's a four turn cooldown that can be reset by using other knife perks. Blade Storm, Disarming Strikes, Trench, Covert. Entrench for an agent? I'm not too sure how that one works. Partial cover of counting as full, however, is very useful. Your attacks from concealment are critical hits. Nice. Okay. Didn't get my heavy weapons burst, though, nor a sniper. <laughs> Those are the two classes I tend to use the most. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Four trooper corpses, eight light weapon fragments, five sidearms, an officer, and an upgrade component. 
Pieces of alien magnetic weaponry are still intact and do wonders when we want to adapt to their tech for our own equipment. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. I really need to learn what on earth you know, these things mean. I've spent a lot of time thinking about these gene therapy clinics lately. It's tempting, right? You can treat your body like garbage and stop in for a quick tune-up and you're good to go. Of course, if you believe the rumors, you might also get yourself turned into an advent burger. Um, so you're the agent and the ranger. So actually this is a good combo because you're both close got combat. Their propaganda machine working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants heading into the cities. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Yeah, well, maybe not. Fire me. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the Resistance. HDMC and Hubbum, and they're all out of bubblegum. I'll do. <laughs> I like it. Alright, research. I'm just going to skip through the intros. We've seen them several times now. And we are once again going to go with hybrid I material. I do find actually. that area of research to be among the more Let's intriguing the options available. First. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when it complete. Engineering. It's a cool intro. Whoops. Whoops. Ah. Advanced technology, along with most of what we've and seen we going on in the city thing centers, here. is based on variations, and in some cases improvements, of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common this stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. What can I do for you, Commander? There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. So last time I got the laboratory, which does increase the number of breakthroughs, but it is friggin' expensive. I'm wondering if we actually want the Guerrilla Tactics School. Wow, workshops are expensive. But this is a corner place, so adjacencies won't be as important here. Didn't start with the GTS. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll right. send word when it's up and running. Commander. Alright, so we've done that one. We're gonna go with hybrid materials. Abandoned colony. Time to investigate five days and we get some rookies. Oh, speaking of rookies, actually. We should probably have a look to see exactly who's uh, available. So let's do that real quick. Uh, armory. You soldiers. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Okay, you done? Good. Uh, so we have Don Bastos, Arachnos, HDMC, Hubbum, Smitherman, Jolivon Hell, Wolfric the Wanderer, Vasco de Perley, Lars Musian, Merrick DK, Benjamin Magnus, and Patrick Marbozier as well. Or just Marbozier. And Lionheart. <clears throat> so those are the guys that are available right now for us to get. And then the next mission that we get... Um, we'll have some Ready more. to serve, my lord. <laughs> Speaking of Ben, hey Ben, thanks for the host. 
Welcome I to Ben's. I think you will find our results Viewers. have exceeded expectations. All right, we're going to assign new research. We read this last time. So they've changed the way the grenades work. So we do need to have a look at that and change how our grenades During the course of go. our research, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, we must do so immediately, or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. I will begin our research immediately. Yeah, Marshall, you're not in yet. I think you're a Ukrainian at the moment. There happened to be a Ukrainian that came up for you. I was like, oh, okay, that works. Seeing as you were yesterday. Abandoned Colony. So we got Hungry Gamer, Fiddler's Reach, Hammer Lord, and Shockin'. Stress beacon, we get a scientist Avenger for that. Plotting one. New course. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Let's go and do that. There are some Brits around, Cromwell, don't worry. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding right, openings. So we can go and get an engineer Admiral. if we do this. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Okay. So we do have two shotgun people. What is your alternative? Heavy cannon. For the ranger. And yours is a sniper rifle. See, we don't have any snipers. So, equipping you with a sniper could actually be very useful. And that's for the agent. I think that makes more sense. I mean, if I'm going to have you going up close and personal, I'll use the, uh, the sword. Alright, so... Specialist I think I'm going to make into a medic. Just suits you. Then... The saboteur is using heavy explosive. That's actually fine. So I'm going to give you flechettes, because you don't really care about cover. Like, at all. And... Two snipers, the scout. I don't think I actually want you using a sniper. I prefer you being mobile. You can be heavy explosive. You can then use a flechette to do some more damage. Because, yeah, you have the knife as well. And then you have the grenade to the hollow targeter. That works. Do I want to give anyone armor? I might actually want to give you body armor. Because you're probably going to be up close and personal. Not that the best. Right, I haven't actually made any vests yet, so never mind. Assault rifle, gremlin. Can't change a gremlin. Your alternative is the sniper. Support the sniper. No, I want you still to be mobile. So we have the two assault rep weapons. Sniper. Shotgun, heavy gun. Does the sniper rifle give you... Yeah, squad side. So what's the advantage that snipers get? Is that the uh, headshot? Or the kill shot, the precision shot, whatever it's called. Alright, here we go. Sky Ranger. Menace, ready to deploy. 